Hello friends, today we are going to look at an introductory subject in numerical methods. This is Gauss elimination method. So our objectives are to solve a system of linear algebraic equations using naive or simple Gauss elimination method. We call it a naive or simple Gauss elimination method because we are not using a pivoting method. So pivoting is basically rearranging the rows of a um, system of equations so that they can be solved easily. So a system of equations with three unknowns x1, x2, x3 is given below. When we arrange this in a matrix form, a times x equals b, where a is the matrix and x and b are vectors. We can see the arrangement below. Now we combine the matrix A and vector b into a matrix AB as shown here. The Gauss elimination method consists of two steps. The first one is forward elimination and the second one is backward substitution. Now let's look at step one which is forward elimination. In the first level the methodology to solve the system of equations is given below. The idea is to bring all the elements below the main diagonal to zero. To achieve that, uh, the procedure is shown here. In first level, we are making the elements the first column uh, below the first row as zero, as shown here. And the steps are given here to achieve this way. So in the next level, we want to bring the elements under the second column um, below the major diagonal to zero. In order to achieve this, we have to do the row operations as shown here. And the steps are also given here. Once this is done, all the elements below the major diagonals of the ma matrix A is, uh, has become zero now. So the first step is now done. So in general, if, if there are uh, n unknowns, that is, uh, we have R rows and C columns on a combined AB matrix, the algorithm to, uh, for the forward elimination is given below. The next step is back substitution. So this can be achieved as shown here. So the idea is to solve the final unknown, for example, x3. And then once x3 is known, we try to solve, we climb one row up and try to solve the unknown x2. And now x2 and x3, two unknowns are known, we, we can solve the unknown x1 at row 1. And the steps are given here. And the final answers came out as x1 equals 0 0.6, x2 equals 1, and x3 equals 0 0.4. In general, the algorithm for back substitution step is given below. For unknowns, uh, n unknowns, so we have matrix um, that has R rows and C columns. Now we can go to MATLAB and try to solve this. 
So in MATLAB, uh, the A ma matrix is given below that we have seen in the PowerPoint. The B vector is given. The combined matrix AB is given as well. The forward elimination algorithm is given and the back substitution algorithm is given as well. Once we solve this, we can find solutions for X. I also provided uh, the MATLAB built-in function to solve this set of equations uh, that is given as x1 here. Let's run this. Here, uh, when we follow this Gauss elimination procedure, the unknowns uh, can be solved. The x vector comes out as uh, it's a 3 by 1 vector in this case, 3 rows and 1 column. x1 is 0 0.6, x2 is 1, and x3 is 0 0.4. And the same values we obtain when we use the built-in function. So now let's get back to a little more uh, complex problem. And in this uh, problem, we have a um, 5 by 5 A matrix. We have a 5 announced to solve. So the A matrix is given again, the B vector is given, and combined AB mat matrix, the forward elimination step algorithm is the same, the back substitution algorithm is the same, and we solve this uh, problem as well. So when you look at X, the unknowns are solved uh, using Gauss elimination method and the values are given here. And the MATLAB function A backward slash um, B provides uh, very similar answers. So the accuracy is pretty close. So by using this methodology, we can even try to solve a set of linear algebraic equations. That is n number of unknowns, where the number of unknowns can be 200 or 400 or 800. So same algorithm can be used. Let's get back to the PowerPoint. To summarize, in this video, we presented a procedure to solve a system of linear algebraic equations using simple or naive Gauss elimination method. We call it a simple or naive Gauss elimination method because we did not use pivoting procedure on the set of equations. Pivoting is used so we can arrange the set of, uh, arrange the rows in the equations. The equations can be arranged uh, so that they don't fail. If, for example, if there are any zeros in the ma major diagonal um, elements, this Gauss, the simple Gauss elimination procedure can immediately fail. So in order to avoid those failures, we need to use pivoting methodology. In the next method, we can solve a system of uh, linear algebraic equations using the same Gauss elimination method by, but by pivoting the set of equations. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please post it. Thank you.